There we are. We've made landfall. What are your orders, sir? Boom. Okay, so with this done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish... Naval base here. We'll make it a level three. And we're going to say top priority, get that built quickly. And all of you guys are going to stand. Well, actually, you're going to capture that and then stand here. Okay, you need to. Just stay where you are. Where to, boss? I'd say that went pretty well. Where to, boss? Could even try to make a crossing here. Grab as much of this as we can. Right, Women's auxiliary is done. Japanese fleet has arrived. Hello, Japan. Japan's on our side. Oh dear, Dutch submarines. And there's the Dutch Navy. Hell frick! Alright, escorts. I don't think you are currently doing escort duty. So let's make sure that we keep this area properly secured. And then you guys begin reconning again, and then your orders are being switched to strike force. Australasia's going to sea. And we finished the focus, so I need to double check the UK's focus as well. And yeah, we can't get the Air Observer Corps yet, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and get some more naval production going. <laughs> Dutch Navy? Since when has that ever been effective? Slash sarcasm. Cancel those things, they're never going to get built. This does mean that we're going to have some pretty big surpluses in guns. So we need to try and do the liberation of India as soon as possible, and then I can just feed guns to Baratia. Where to, boss? After this, we could actually do with some air bases in here. It's like two. But the naval base is by far and away the most important thing that we need right now. We are super duper duper short on steel. CSA, hurry up! I need you to win this war, quickly. Unfortunately, there is nothing quick about that war. 
So why am I suddenly so short on steel? You know what, getting a trade route with Japan is not going to be that difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop you escorting those. Stop you escorting that. And we're just going to escort out to Japan. And we're just going to buy everything that we need from the Japanese now. Hopefully. We just need a lot more destroyers for the uh, escorting. Yeah, the Dutch submarines are causing havoc. Alright, so let's go and take a look at what we are producing right now. And we're going to switch... Oh, I've got advanced... Heavy cruisers. Interesting. Right, because I was trying to get something to kill enemy screens with. But right now, I actually need... Destroyers for anti-submarine warfare. And for that, we're going to need to design one. Make them torpedo boats too. Getting another gun on there would be too expensive. They're not here for combat, they're here for submarine duties. Then these will need a name. What should we call them? These can be the. Wrecky Dog Glass. And we will definitely need to build a couple of those. So we're going to say one more cruiser, one more cruiser. In fact, you can keep one more cruiser. One more convoy. So we do have 200 convoys now. I think we're going to be alright. These guys are doing exactly what I was hoping and just massing troops here. So what I'd like to do is launch an attack against, say, this point here. Maybe even Surabaya. See if I can grab all of this kind of peninsula, which will trap a large portion of their armies here in these islands, and then I can just entrap and kill. Am I going to go after New Guinea? Yes, eventually we will. Source of oil. Which Japan isn't really going to be. I mean, actually, what I could do, thinking about it... Okay, those are on their way for repairs. 
is send my fleet out a little bit further. Oh, I see. I can't actually reach that. There's a way around this. Hey, Japan. How about some of those docking rights, eh? Yeah. Okay, so that should give me all of the range that I need to get over there, and it does. Now, what I really want to know is, where am I losing my submarines? Oh, my uh, convoys. Like, ever since they changed to this system where they don't report on where convoys are lost, it's really difficult to find out where you're losing convoys and then block those uh, sea zones. What I'm going to say is don't use this area if you can avoid it. Instead, sail out of here. Yeah, there we go. Who sides Hawaii on? Hawaiians, Canadians, they probably are using that to harass shipping. We are losing a lot of convoys. I think we can probably start buying from the Pacific States again. In fact, the Pacific States might once more be safer than Japan. As we have a fairly secure route that goes out here. Man, there really needs to be a way of seeing exactly where you're losing convoys. If anyone knows how to do that, then please do tell me. Because right now, it doesn't seem possible. Which is a hell of an oversight. See, we are apparently losing some ships. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, we are losing some ships here. Route efficiency, 75%. Oh, that's nice. Where are they being sunk? Actually, there's a gargantuan navy sitting just off the coast of Peru. So buying from Peru right now seems like a really bad idea. What am I buying from Peru? Rubber. Uh, that is actually my only choice. Although, as I take more and more of Indonesia, we will have our own sources. New research. Okay, so... As much as I'd like to upgrade our guns a bit more, I think I have to upgrade my s destroyer capacity. How's this going? Yeah. Not great. Oh, crikey, yes. I meant to check to see what you're focusing on now. The general election. That's fine. They think if they're going the right way. And I wanted them to be the ones to choose these, so I didn't have to do it for them. Cool. So my little um, intervention in their focus actually seems to have paid off. Ooh, we just sank a bunch of Canadians. Excellent. In fact, we should double check this fleet to see if anyone is badly injured. In combat, where? Here. Oh, hello, Dutch Navy. We just sank a fast battleship. 
two of them. I think we're about to get the third. Yes, we got the uh, Pride of the Dutch Navy. Their aircraft, aircraft carrier did unfortunately get away. But this is a huge amount of damage done to the Dutch. And that's basically, I think, sapped their ability to do war in Indonesia. Three battleships, four cruisers and eight destroyers. That was a great victory. I am pleased with that. Sorry, I'm just going to, whoops, send all of the ships off to repair if they need it. That was a pretty big deal. Oh crap, they're attacking these ground stunts. How long until this is done? Two more days. We need to hold for two days, and then reinforcements will come sweeping in. There's one of those days. And what are you up against? You're up against 17 divisions. Alright then. Well, I need to decide who I am going to send in. It's probably going to be these guys. All those. Next, you know what? It's going to be these guys. They're way more defensive. All we need is that naval base. There it is. Twenty-four divisions is probably a bit much. Let's. Where to, boss? Send in the Baratian troops. Yes, sir. Order, sir. Send in 12. That's half. And now we're getting supplies here, so we should be able to hold a lot better. Enemies still have air superiority. How do they have air superiority? They have no planes here. I don't get it. What if I do a real dick move and make a naval invasion on the island behind the Dutch troops in Indonesia to cut the supplies? That's 100% my intention. <laughs> This is why I'm so happy that they're attacking me here in such force. Because as soon as my regular forces arrive here, I'm going to back off with the Marines and then prepare a naval invasion back here. And based anti air? I don't think so. Somehow I can't see their units, which is really bizarre seeing as my decryption's like six. So how on earth are they keeping their units hidden from me? is beyond me. I can I actually see that? I don't know, but my encryption is amazing. In fact, I can see it in the fight, can't I? Decryption advantage plus 7.5%. 
So I should be able to see their units. I'm really surprised I can't. There we go. We recover our organization. Job's done. Job's a good one, boss. Alright, are we producing many, many dis... Oh, right, we're using them all on repairs right now. Yeah, that's fair. Further and further into their territory, but you've still not taken New Orleans. They've got to have just like nothing left. They still have 71 divisions in this. Alright, this I have to see. Uh, let's tag CSA real quick. Yeah, all of their units are quite low on strength, but they still have a lot of them. Plenty of guns. Oh no, that's CSA guns. So yeah, I don't need to send them any. CSA does have a lot of um, production. Hurry up and win faster. You're holding me back. Is it just decryption that lets you see the enemy? I thought radar also pays a role. It does. And in fact, I'd be fairly surprised my radar doesn't reach them. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Australian radar is so badly positioned. Why is it so far inland? Surabaya is under naval invasion by somebody. Japan, probably. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now we're building destroyers. That's a lot better. And I want to make sure that the destroyers are being added to this fleet. And they should be. In fact, I think I want to start another one under construction as well. Because so we really need to pump these out. Because there are a lot of Dutch submarines. And we know from experience how dangerous Dutch submarines can be. We are losing far too many convoys to that. For some reason, the steel gets in uh, attacked, but the oil supplies don't. In fact, we can reduce the amount of oil we're importing too. Come on, CSA! I want you to have some Pacific ports, please. There they come again. Nineteen divisions this time. Now, can I extract any other people? Bolivians, we can. Baratians! Yay! Another round of extracting the Baratians. Even more free manpower. Marvelous. And now I think. I really want to upgrade my radar. But I also kind of want to make sure that the Marine 
capabilities continue to improve. But no, I think now is radar time. Or industry. Right, it's February 43. And we are lagging behind. The industry going. And actually the other point is factories. There are still a few factory sites over here and we haven't even touched New Zealand yet. More Dutch subs. Good, good, good. I heartily approve of that. And there's the capital fleet. And there we are. Marine upgrade on the same day that the reinforcements arrive. Magnificent. We also want to upgrade the commando skill. Let's do that now. So these marines are going to be important. Alright, so you guys need to do a naval invasion from here. Surabaya. And all of this. Um, stay here for just a moment until these guys actually arrive. <laughs> Let's not abandon that position. Not just yet, anyway. Enforcements. Then once the purples get entrenched, they're going to be really difficult to route out. Unlike Lucic, they've got a defense of five instead of an attack of five. And they're also built for defense. Rather a lot less artillery and rather a lot more killing um, defensive power. Okay. All the Marines have now arrived, so let's assign them all to that order. And you guys are just here to defend this. Excellent! And we have an airbase. Huzzah! So let's bring in... 200... Argentinian... Fighters on air superiority here. Have I played Eight Princes yet? The last couple of days is all I've been playing. Check the uh, videos on demand. There's a whole bunch of them. Aha! New destroyers. Excellent. I should probably go and build a new class of destroyer. I'm sorry, Rocky Dog. <laughs> you didn't stick around for very long. Alright, so this is going to be the... Grumbus, no. Already been named recently. Milatus. Class. 